Euclid 300 before Christ Euclid was a great mathematician who gave birth to the logical thinking in the geometry said Albert Einstein the great scientist Euclid is known as the father of the geometry today even after 2300 years geometry taught in the schools is based on the Euclidean books Euclid collected the available informations on the geometry around 300 BC and published them in the form of the 300 books in the systematic manner These books are the called Euclid's Elements. It is an important work. Much is not known about the Euclid. He lived in Alexandria and taught in a school there. Ptolemy was the king of the Alexandria. Euclid was famous all over the Alexandria. He was immersed in the study of the geometry. He was also interested in the music and the astronomy. Geometry is a branch of the mathematics which studies the properties of the shapes and the space and the originally of the earth. Euclid Euclidean geometry has been developed based on the axioms. An axiom is a proposition that is assumed to be true on which later studies may be developed. Some of the axioms found in the Euclidean geometry are as under. Point number 1 A straight line may be drawn from any one point to any other point. Point number two: A circle can always be drawn with any point as a center and with any radius. Point number three: A finite straight line may be extended at each end. Point number four: All right angles are equal to each other. In the 12th century, Euclid's original books written in the Arabic were translated into Latin and were named as Elements. Elements is a set of the 13 volumes. The first volume contains the informations about the point, lines, circle, triangles, etc. The second volume gives the methods for the making of geometrical figures with the help of the algebra. The next two volumes deal with the circles the fifth and the sixth volumes contains the theoretic of the ratio and the proportion and their applications totally nine of these volumes deal with the place and the solid geometry and the rest four with the numbers theory these books contains invaluable informations about the solid figures like a cube pyramid octagon sphere and uh, other solids He has given all his own findings in the addition to the mathematics researches done prior to him. The entire work was the result of these wisdoms. Apart from letting these books have been translated into many languages all over the world. On the basis of the researches of Euclid German mathematician Riemann invented Euclidean geometry. Euclid's works have shown new paths in the studies of the geometry in the modern days the first printed version of the elements of the apart apart in the 1482 in latin and the first english translation was published in 1570 euclid said there is no real road to the learning in germ in geometry all must go same way once he was uh, teaching a geometry to students a student stood stood up and asked him can you tell me what is the practical advantage in the studying the geometry euclid didn't answer him he called his servant and said give this gentleman some money he cannot learn without the money once a few teacher asked him euclid to tell how to measure the height of the great pyramid as there is no way but euclid smiled he measured the length of the pyramid shadow at the practice time precise time when the length of the his shadow was exactly equal to his height euclid said that it is impossible to become a theoretical researcher if one does not practice geometry data division of figures phenomenon surface loci prisms and cones and common lessons in the music are the other books of the written by euclid his other important work is a tragedy and analysis he not only contributed in the geometry but also in the optics and divisions theory einstein said that the two event in the his youth 
were important of which one was the study of the euclid geometry at the age of 12 euclid will be remembered forever for his invaluable contribution to mag geometry as a logical subject he taught a geometry to king tommy who was a learned man and a respected poets astronomers and uh, mathematicians euclid said the whole is a greater with any of its parts